Hello and welcome to American Closet Systems. My name is Bezad. In this video, we are going to show you how to design a small walk-in closet. First, we go ahead and log in. Again, we come to the home page. On the home page, we go to walk-in closet tab and then we select small walk-in closet system would bring up a design for you know as you know design that you know a default design for this closet if you click on the enlarge floor plan you can see this closet brings it up and shows you the dimensions that we have assumed uh, the orange wall is 80 inches, 70 inches. Uh, the two side walls, the blue wall is 80 inches, the green wall is 80. So let's first uh, we close this thing up and then we go ahead and put our own dimensions. Let's say our back wall in here, which is the orange, I have is 72 inches so I enter 72 and uh, on this area over here you can change the dimensions on your left wall the blue wall I'm going to make it 120 inch and then I come all the way to the green wall I make this one also 120 inch and press apply now if you click on the enlarge floor plan you see your floor plan changed and uh, so now we go ahead and uh, change the units around let's say the back wall is good we want to keep it the way it is we like to have the drawer unit on the back wall and we want to go ahead and do the side walls so we go to the left wall which is the blue wall we say press on this area says add or modify it shows you the floor plan it shows the blue wall in here the number of the units that we have in this closet is two units on the blue wall let's say that we want to make it four units so the system changed it four units it automatically gives you uh, two units of three and four in here added so we go ahead right now and try to modify these units let's say this is the side it's going to be for her side uh, I'm going to leave the long hanger unit number one unit number two of course uh, unit number two I'm going to change it into a shelving I click on the B unit pop-up menu opens up I select the shelving and unit number three I double hanger I leave it and unit number four I will change it which is this a unit I will change it to a long hanger we go to the second row the inside widths the very first unit I'm going to make it 30 and 3 quarters you can put any size unit that you want any width the shelving I'm going to make it 22 and a half and the third unit which is a double hanger I'm going to make that also 30.75 3 quarters and the last unit I'm going to make that one 30.375 uh, point 30.75 and I press apply once I press apply in here you see the apply it shows us that we have one and a half inches unused space of course you may have fillers uh, you want to put some fillers possibly because you have baseboard in the house so I'm going to put a filler on the left which is three quarters and a filler on the right 
three quarters and then I'm going to press apply again if you notice right now the unused space became zero so this units they went wall to wall now I go to the third row which is the depth I want to change my depths let's say that the shelving unit the unit number two I want to make it 15 inches deep and as you notice we are changing the flow plus keeps changing and it shows you the result of your work so this wall is her side and we have done the changes we press on save and continue now if you again click on the enlarged floor plan you see your blue wall is complete now we go to the green wall and the green wall is going to be his side which is again 120 inches long so I go to here the green wall this is, we call it the right wall go to add or modify the green wall again I select the four units in here system automatically adds another double hanger always the very first two units I want to make it hanging and hanging so I leave this A unit is good the second one I change it to a hanging is for his side the third unit I click on A I change it to a shelving and the last unit again I leave it as a hanging I change the dimensions I make it equal to the the other side I make it 30.75 30.75 the second unit the edge with shelving I make it 22 and a half and the last unit I make it 30.75 I press apply again if you notice the unused length is one and a half inch and that's because we have not put any spacer or fillers so I'm going to put the fillers in here 0.75 and 0.75 I'm going to put 0.75 in here and I press apply again I'm going to go to my depth of the units change the hangings are good I'm going to leave it at 12 12 but the shelving I'm going to also change this one to 15 inches and I press apply again you notice on the green wall the units are going wall to wall so I press save and continue we go ahead and name our closet over here we call it my first walk-in closet or we just call it walk-in closet let's just call it walk-in closet walk-in closet we press apply you notice your price in here the list price your sale price shipping not included this is for pickup from Bellsville now one more thing I'm going to change the height of these units as default they were 84 maybe in this case you want to make it 86 and a half just a slightly taller units now we can press add to cart give your cart a name we can call it my second job my second job and we press save this card now you have uh, two jobs yourself the very first job that you know that you created is here you know you have my second job and then the very first job is that you create is over here each of these jobs they have one 
item in them and it shows you in here how many items are in each of these jobs now if you want to view again your second job you can press on view the card press edit checkout and then press view or edit and you come back to where you left off if you sc you know, scroll down you can also see your fl flow plan in here and more information are here that we are going to cover it up in the later videos thank you for watching this video and see you next time